I was informed that I had a new student joining my small group. He was handicapped because he only had one arm due to a recent amputation. A few days later, I had totally forgotten about this new student. That night, I got introduced to this kid Uh, who was wearing a long sleeve shirt. I reached out my arm to shake his hand and said, my name is Jonathan, what's yours? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Youth Group Chronicles. Pastor Tim and Shaw Rax, welcome to the show. You guys, good to have you on. This is your first time together. Yes. Been on the show a lot. This is my brother, man. Yeah, he is. If this is your first time listening to the show, this is where my guests come on to Blind React to Youth Group. Stories that are sent in from our listeners. Quick shout out to our Instagram live audience. Welcome, guys. Thank you for being here behind the scenes. Uh, We'll kick this off with a story from Jonathan. Jonathan said, What up, Jenny? I was informed that I had a new student joining my small group. I was kindly given a heads up that he was handicapped because he only had one uh, one arm due to a recent amputation. Okay. What I didn't know is who he was because I had never met him before. Unfortunately, though, by the time youth group rolled around a few days later, I had totally forgotten about this new student. Oh, no. That night, I got introduced to this kid uh, who was wearing a long sleeve yep. shirt. I reached out my arm to shake his hand and said, my name is Jonathan, what's yours? He looked me dead in the eyes and then looked down at his dangling sleeve and said, I'm glad you're aware of your surroundings and then proceeded to tell me his name. This guy said, I never saw this kid again, and the interaction haunts me to this day. <laughs> that guy has never tried to shake another person's hand a day <laughs> in his life. He says, hi, how are you? <laughs> he like circles around the person. To make sure it, like, around them. He like, right. he like hits him first. He's like, hey, how are you, man? How, o- how are you? <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. I seen, <laughs> it reminds me of that video. of that. So there's a little girl <laughs> that he's like. Actually, yep. He goes to the like, fist bumper. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm like high five, and then he does this. I'm like, bro, she got no arms. <laughs> that man did not sleep for a week, oh, I guaranteed. I yeah. This guy either, probably. Yeah, bro, that is That's... so embarrassing, bro. <laughs> so, and of course, the of course the kids got to be like, glad you're aware your surroundings. Like, come on, man, it's like uh, it's you dark say? in here for some reason. I don't know why we got the lights off. It's youth group. This that is weird. strobe light keeps coming. Mm-hmm. The music's like, yeah. blasting. It's just like, <laughs> well, someone said, how do you forget that that kid's in your youth group? He had not been there before. This guy had never seen him before. He just uh, knew that he was going to be visiting. And then in one ear, out the other, apparently. Come on. You got to do better, my hey, guy. We'll add it to the prayer, you gotta, prayer list at the end of the episode, man. You got to do better. Praying for, praying for past. Flashback to the kid uh, with the nunchuck blind stick. Yes. that I don't think either of you were on for that one. I don't know that one. But I'm not going to repeat it because, you know, Dang. everyone's getting Sam mad. Got some bitterness over I'm this, actually really bitter. <laughs> <laughs> but once we get to a million listens, he's going to be acting different. <laughs> Don't, yes. don't, don't repeat name, it, after a, after a million listens, we're repeating all the stories. We're, we're just starting. All of them. We're taking all the stories from episode one. <laughs> we're gonna wrap starting it. over. <laughs> Yo, someone just said they from Moscow. From Moscow. <laughs> what up, Moscow? That was Lauren. The- <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? <laughs> She's got a VPN. Where's apparently. Moscow at? Huh? Where's Moscow? It's in Russia, but it was your wife that said it, and she's sitting right behind us. So. <laughs> Shout out to Moscow. John fell for that hook, line, and sinker. Hook, though. line, and sinker. People are listening from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Greg. Greg said, on a youth group trip, we went to a park with zip lines, obstacle courses, and so on. One of these obstacles required you to balance on a rope while simultaneously weaving your way through all these other ropes. Later that day, a leader and I both heard someone yell behind us. We turned around to see one of our students stuck in this rope obstacle, suspended horizontally with his feet in the air and his pants all the way down to his ankles. It makes oh, sense. No. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. It, it's out, hor- so vertically. They said horizontally, way. but actually I believe it was, yeah, vertically would make more sense. Yeah. yeah. No, dis- no disrespect, Greg. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> but the pants on the ankles? Dang. Yes. The line is horizontal. A lot. Well. A line could be horizontal or vertical. Yeah, not, oh, but yeah, that's true. Not I believe they meant vertical. Now, actually, look at this because his feet were straight up in the air. Yeah, that would make sense. Upside down, yelling. <laughs> that's crazy. Yelling. With his pants down. <laughs> we're, we're like everything down or just? The I don't. Down? Yeah, that, I don't think everything. They didn't I, know, clarify, I, but I would imagine no. Right, I think well, it was hey, safe. Sounds illegal hey. if everything's down. We're praying, for, we're praying for you, my guy. Praying for you, man. We're praying for you, mother. <laughs> this is uh, this is a story from Jimmy. He said, Jimmy. while staying at a hotel on a youth group trip, oh. I received a concerned call from the front desk mm. informing me that they needed me to come downstairs to get one of my students. All right. Is this a prank case or no? Now, to my surprise, it was the pastor's son, who was typically a well-behaved kid. Hmm. Come to find out, despite his room being on floor 23, oh, no. 
He had maneuvered from balcony to balcony, descending all 23 stories to the ground. The hotel staff <laughs> said they were chasing him from the inside, <laughs> but couldn't catch up. And the hotel even had it all on video, so they got to see it, but they weren't allowed to keep it. Bro, I thought, that, I thought I he was a good kid. That's impressive. That sounds impressive. Like he should win an crazy. award for that. <laughs> <laughs> Man thought he was Spider Man. He thought he was something. That's no, that's crazy. that's incredible. I'm I'm proud of him. Twenty three stories, bro, is no joke. But, but you know how tall that is? There's, there's, there's a lead up to that story. There's a lead up to that what? story. There, I, I, you know, you're not, no one's just like climbing. Up. There's oh, like, it a, was, yo, bro, I bet I could climb this thing. Really? No, yeah. There was probably a girl thing. involved. Oh, that would definitely. Be my bet. It has to be. Definitely a That's girl. That's the only time you try to impress people like that is if you're a girl involved. <laughs> yeah. <He's> like, yeah. <laughs> people, <laughs> people start doing the dumbest stuff once they're trying to impress a girl. No, 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 like, not people. Dudes. 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 <laughs> well, yes. That's true. I never hear girls doing something stupid for guys. It's well, always the guys for first. girls. Yeah, it's, it's always for girls. Yeah. Like always, always. Yeah, that, always. It, if I had to put money on it, that would be my bet. Yeah, would be that there was it a was, female involved. It was Delilah for the pastor's kid. Man. <laughs> That's what it <laughs> he was. He liked man. her. Thank this is from Joshua. Joshua. Joshua said, man? one of her pastors used a fire extinguisher <laughs> for a sermon <laughs> illustration. A what shirt? A uh, fire uh, extinguisher. Fire okay. While he was preaching, <laughs> he sprayed the fire extinguisher. But unbeknownst to him, the soundboard nearby sucked up all the powder. Oh, no. And it corroded away our $120,000 console. $120,000 console. Oh, he's going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> to make it worse, we couldn't even claim it on insurance because it wasn't a real fire. <laughs> Stop doing stupid stuff. Simple. Like, why are you being that? I want to know how it sucked it in, but I would Ow, imagine there's bro. like a fan on the back or something. Bro, yeah, why yeah, yeah. Why, what was the point? It like was a sermon illustration. A, no, that's not what we do. He's fired. You got to be. He's fired twice. He's like, you're fired and you owe us $100,000 because 20000 was your salary. So give us $100,000 on top of that. No. Bro, I like, don't understand what people do. like. What kind of church is this with $120,000? I, I mean, there are some churches they get with pretty big budgets for sure. $120,000. That's a whole mix board. Yeah. That's a, that's a I mean, car. I've also seen churches like lease stuff. That's a building. That's a building. <laughs> They could have been leasing project. it too. Could have been leasing it. That's yeah. even worse. Wow. Even years you got to pay for it. So, uh, <laughs> sorry, prayers to this guy, man. We should have a prayer time at the end of every <laughs> every episode, just to be like, man, this. I mean, so I was doing I was doing this outdoor event. I was helping with like the sound for it, and we put like a, one of those pop up tents. Yeah. Over all our gear at front of house. Oh no, this is for that's the, already uh, bad start. Thank you. For the for the evening, and then we went home, but it downpoured. So oh, I mean, no. we were tarping everything. Everything was fine. The little pop-up tent blew off. Of course. The tarp blew off the soundboard. I mean, it was like an X32, so probably like 2500 bucks. Oh mm -hmm. Still, we get there the next day to do the show, and this thing, literally, you tipped the soundboard, and water poured out of it. <laughs> so the, my boss was like, okay, one, we're not telling anybody about this, because it was, it was rented. I'm not going to tell no you who. No way. That's horrible. It was rented. And he's like, I need you to go to the convenience store and buy two hair dryers right now. So I, I kid you not, we were in the middle of this field for nah. two to three hours with hair dryers, hair drying this console. Did there were water in like the scribble strips, which are like the little mm -hmm. uh, you can see what channel is or whatever. <laughs> water in it, and we would like hold the hair dryer there for like fifteen minutes until it evaporated. Thing worked perfectly fine. No, no one ever asked any no. questions. That should be an Dead ad. Serious. This is sponsored That's by Behringer. Crazy. <laughs> they don't make them like this. <laughs> Behringer is crazy. This is sponsored by Behringer. So, I used to uh, actually have a Behringer. <laughs> these guys just need face. to get a hair dryer. That'd probably yeah, fix honestly, the problem. Honestly, yeah, just throw it in some rice. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so the big old thing in a bottle of rice <laughs> Huge thing Sponsored right. by Dyson Yes you're right Lauren No literally This is from Jeff Jeff said On an hey, inner Jeff? city mission trip Our team was leading and singing out in public Oh A crowd began to form But all of a sudden One of the female leaders started hyperventilating Another person said that she had been hit by something yeah. So our youth pastor intervened And tried to figure out what was going wrong While keeping the ministry and singing going <laughs> Keep, keep singing, guys. Keep going. <laughs> Come on. We, go. we got this under control, man. <laughs> Come to find out, some random dude in the crowd was shooting at people on stage <gasps> with a slingshot. <laughs> that man what? thought he was David. This man is, <laughs> this, was David. This is, I'm going to hit him. No, that, sounds, him. that sounds mad accurate. Wait, so he hit the girl? <laughs> yeah. Smoked her like a stone or something. <laughs> Dang. But, just keep going. Oh, have you ever, I mean, have you ever shot a slingshot? 
Yeah. Not like the Down. sling. No, a sling <laughs> like a real I used one? to have them as a kid. Yeah, they're lethal, dude. Whoa. I don't know what they shot them with, but they didn't say. Do you know about j wads of ages. You no, don't know about j wads Oh, is that a rubber band with a... Like uh, a paper pa- paper little, you those little... kill, dude. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's a flashback. I used to be that guy. Like I believe it. I used to shoot people in the eyes. In the... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I used to shoot people in the eyes. <laughs> I don't know, bro. <laughs> I used to be wild back then. I don't know. You just told us off air that you slapped a cop with pizza. Is that what you said? Yes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, ch- the charges got dropped. Thank the Lord, man. <laughs> the charge got dropped. Hey, man. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? Shaw, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Pastor Tim yeah. was talking about getting a pizza and smacking people with it. Okay, look. And Shaw's like, been there, done that. And it triggered me. <laughs> gotta, it triggered me a little bit. Y'all got to pay extra for my youth pastor tips, uh, man. I had to spend a day in jail for that. Like, no. Nah, we ain't smacking nobody pizza anymore. <laughs> <laughs> We're done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go back to jail again. <laughs> I went one night and I never went back again. Shout Shaw, Shaw, okay, I will say, Shaw has some of the craziest <laughs> like post Christianity stories I've ever heard in my life. Bro, like, everybody says that pre, pre, post, <laughs> yeah, post. <laughs> Shaw <laughs> saved everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, you saw pre, pre <laughs> Jesus stories I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. The crazy stories, um, as you can see, Women slapping a post. cop with pizza, <laughs> <laughs> getting Thank arrested God, yeah, for yeah, it. You're about to do this. <laughs> you're about to hit another cop. <laughs> Yo, Instagram Live wants us to show show your feet, Shaw. What do you wear? <laughs> <laughs> they all want to see it again. It's just cracks, bro. I'm just telling you. I, I don't think they're bad. Everyone yeah. was like, I did, I so Shaw comes in. He's like, it's a good thing we never have to show like our shoes when we're on these <laughs> podcasts. And then now everyone wants to see but, exactly bro, what he's wearing. Because I usually get dressed up, and I'm like, "What's the point of wearing shoes if I'm not gonna? You're not gonna see them." True. And now the I'm, one night everyone asks, "Right, I'm gonna be comfortable tonight." <laughs> let's just, let's just change like, the shot, actually. Hey, you know, Micah came in with uh, what were those? They were like cream foam, like slip-on slippers. Oh, you're talking about the um. They looked like a marshmallow. You're talking about the um Yeezys. But they didn't have holes in it. They're, oh, they're not. Yeah, okay. I don't know what it, they looked really comfy. Two bucks at Walmart or something. Who brought? Who brought it? Micah. Oh, okay. Um, pizza man. The baby slap him in the face. Ah, uh, get that pizza away from me. <laughs> someone just, someone just, <laughs> he's about to, he's about to fall back in his get half life. Pizza. <laughs> You're making me go crazy. <laughs> you gonna send me back? You ain't going back, Shaw. Stay down. No, hold me. Okay. <laughs> Caitlin just walked in the studio with uh, pizza, and Shaw's having uh, a meltdown break down over right here. Now. A breakdown, mental breakdown. Oh, <laughs> Yo, someone said your your drip goes hard, bro. Oh, appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate that, man. This is a story from Zach. Okay. Zach said, while out to eat at a local restaurant in Mexico for a mission trip, one of the guys went to use the bathroom. Now, keep in mind, plumbing in Mexico is not the same as the United States. So when going number two, the cleaning wipes are supposed to be thrown in the trash can. Mm, Right. That's how it's supposed to be. But when he got... Yeah. In the trash can. Okay. Right? (laughs) But when... (laughs) Shots out here living different. Sorry, I I don't know what you do with your toilet paper, but when you're at my house, please flush it. I thought you said wipes. Toilet paper. That's how they do it in Mexico. I think they do it in Oh, yeah. Toilet paper goes in the toilet. Okay, okay. Of course. Just making sure. In other countries, it doesn't. <laughs> He's switching up on me now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you'll never get out of this again. <laughs> no, you're not coming to my house again. <laughs> no, bro. Bro, I heard you wrong. Dang, oh, no. This is crazy. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They're supposed to be thrown in the trash. Okay, in Mexico. But when he got back, he chuckled and quietly said to us, well, that was unpleasant. Come to find out, there were no more. there was no more toilet paper. So instead of texting someone to bring him a napkin or even just not wiping at all, he decided to reach into the trash can and use someone else's previously used toilet paper. <laughs> Bro That's is crazy. nasty. Yeah, That's I don't know how crazy. that man did not catch Bro, what is wrong something. with you? <laughs> That's... That's crazy. My man got a whole virus from that. <laughs> man got the Ebola <laughs> virus. <laughs> <laughs> man, this man started it. <laughs> this man started it. Crazy. When when was this? This was this was March 2020. Okay, Yo, that makes sense. February 2020. <laughs> February 2020. He came back. People he came back. He's the reason. Dying. He's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy, man. Oh, man. Someone said he took recycle to a new level. You yeah. know that man did that before. Hmm. There's no way. You know, <laughs> you did that before, bro. Like going to people's cool, house man. and using towels. Quick little. There's a story about that. <laughs> what? 
Some, uh, okay, actually, I, some people have been chirping, all right, oh, about oh, chirping. reusing stories. Oh, no. I have to say, we never reuse stories on the show. Okay. However, <clears throat> we recount stories. So if that's what you're talking about, okay. And also, I have to say, like 15,000 stories have been in, sent Set into the, the show. Set the straight, Sam. Jeez. So if like Tell some em. duplicates have slipped in, I'm, I'm sorry. Talk to them, so Sam. So the two of well, you that keep it. messaging us yeah. saying Come that there's on. duplicates. That would be normal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Call them out. That it's ruining we the show for you. you. However, we're going to recount a story because <laughs> Shaw wasn't on the show when it happened. Anyway, there was a small group <laughs> at some leader's house and uh, they went to the bathroom and saw like chocolate. Mm -hmm. on their uh, towel. No. It wasn't chocolate. It turned out a kid was using that to wipe oh. in their house. And he hung it back up? Yeah, they hung it back up. <laughs> <laughs> to dry. You know, you gotta... Bro, <laughs> people are so ring. disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. You gotta go. <laughs> and I'm talking about go. Secret, uh, a little little <laughs> Bible go. note that when it, the Bible says our righteousness is as filthy rags, literally in the Bible, <laughs> they, were, they were dung rags that they used. They didn't have toilet paper. So people what? would use rags to wipe that's revelation and then, and then that's what paul says when he says our righteousness was filthy rags he's talking so about, dumb poop rags. Rags. about poop yeah we just a poopy <laughs> we're just a poopy rag <laughs> day <laughs> crazy yeah i guess i'm a poopy rag i guess i'm a poopy rag no you used to be oh it used to be yeah we ain't preaching today it used to be <laughs> hallelujah the glory goes to the lord <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you have stories you want to send into the show, stories at ygcpodcast.com is where you can send them in. This is from Rebecca. From Jay. Jay. Close. <laughs> <laughs> on a youth retreat, I had my legs up across a bench because I had recently had surgery on my ACL okay. after totally tearing it a few good. months prior. Our youth leader came up and asked me how my knee was doing, and I said it's getting better. But I still didn't have feeling on top of my knee. Mm -hmm. Before I could finish explaining this, he pulled his fist high into the air and punched my knee as hard <laughs> as he could. Of course, I started crying right there. So he said, I thought you couldn't feel your knee. What I meant to tell him was I couldn't feel the skin on top of my knee. Oh, oh gosh. He basically just retore the ACL. Oh my god! Uh, okay, that didn't happen, but that's what I'm thinking happened. Yeah, but no, that's that's god, a classic, that so bro. That Why? Sense. That checks out. That checks out. Bro. Those are two bros at youth group. That just. It, but makes he did sense. do a girl. Oh wait, maybe not. Maybe not. Out here hitting girls. Hold up. Actually, I don't know. I may have been. Bro, I thought he was literally yeah, gonna, gonna, gonna. Not, not hitting they them's knee, man. This Actually, yeah, I don't know. There is uh, no clarification, so it's probably two dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hope well, so. Well, no, they started crying, so give me guys. Hey, I started <laughs> crying. Give me a guy. That's I, I, I used to, I used to watch the show, right? And the man used to get drunk and all that, and then he he was like, because he was always trying to find a way to get rich and get money, because he was like a. Bum. Would you like walk in front of a car or something like that? No. Or? So this man was like, I need to get a um, I need to get hurt so I can get this um, this what's it called? And so oh insurance yeah, yeah insurance. so they can get money. So this man tells his son to break his leg, right? And then after, he was just like, no, don't, just don't do it. And then his son, while he sleep, because he know he needs this money, because the guy, I think he had, like, um, liver cancer or something. Man puts his leg up on the table, and bro gets on top of a ladder and jumps oh. on it and snaps his leg in half. I'm like, this is crazy. Is this a real just, story? It no, it's a it's how I used to watch. <laughs> 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 no, I did that to my cousin. Someone back said back that that guy, that guy, that guy definitely owed him money. The Pre the knee kid is oh, what you're saying. Oh yeah, you owe me at least <laughs> fifty thousand. Someone tuning in from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Shout out Tulsa, what up? Yo, actually, this is really cool. Um, by the time this episode comes out, so this episode we're recording on what's today, a Friday. This mm -hmm. comes out on Wednesday. We will have crossed over one million listens to you. Wow. One million one listens. One million listens. So thank you wow. all for continuing to God tune into good, the show. Man. And uh, you, uh, you guys on Instagram Live get to hear that before anybody else. You have to start talking different, Sam. That's after a, after one million? Yeah, you got to. Next episode. You got to change it up. He, he shows up in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> like half, half the episode, he's just giving advice. <laughs> yeah, I remember my first million listens. Um, <laughs> Consistency is really it's the first, first million is the hardest. It just goes up from there. We're on our way to a billion now. So. <laughs> I'm way to a billion. <laughs> yeah. Hey. hey, I'll take it. Got to start with one. This is a story from Colson. What up, Colson? Colson said, "On our way back from youth camp, we played a game called Sweet and Sour. Okay, this that is where you stick your head crazy. out the window of a car, wave, and try to get a wave back from another vehicle. Except on Fun. one of our attempts." 
some dude literally pulled a gun out of his glove, glove box and pointed it at us. Wow. Stop playing around with people. <laughs> Y'all do it too much. You go to certain cities, what bro. What happened next? They lived. You look they at lived. somebody too much, they going to shoot you. <laughs> no one died. Pointed the gun at them? No. They, uh, they did say, though. That because of the way traffic was, after this guy put his gun away, uh-huh. their cars were like next to each other awkwardly of for course, a while. <laughs> of course, of course, <laughs> which is even worse. You just don't want to make you don't want to yeah, little side like, eye, you know? They're like looking the other bro, there's way. There's people just having highway through. shootouts. <laughs> Stop Almost. playing with these people. Yeah, bro. why are you waving your gun at a couple of youth kids? That's what I want to know. No, <sighs> look, there's okay. You can most of these stories you can tell whether they're from a big city or a small city. <laughs> Usually when they're from a These small people city, people are from people a small, the car city, from in a small city. city. Yes, the one exactly. in the, the with the gun is from the big city. Exactly. No, I'm saying the <laughs> youth clashing. groups are almost always from a small town. Uh, yeah, because they say, yeah, some inner city kids. Because like, they okay, play too much. That's that's one. <laughs> they play too much. But you can't you can't do that in big cities, guys. Just like just bro, you go to the New York City, you stare at somebody too long, they might shoot you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah I've heard some. It's crazy safe stories. to say they did, they uh, failed at this game. Yeah, they failed. That was failed sour. That was that was sour. Straight sour. That's why sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's sour. Like savage sour, forget it. Someone said they're working. What you? Someone on Instagram Live said working my way through all the episodes, working backwards. Wow. That's bold. I would work from the start. That's bold because <laughs> I would like to say we progressively have gotten better. <laughs> yeah, they're like they're the like, quality of this show has gone downhill since like I started listening. Laugh less and less every time. They're like, uh, yeah, well, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> This is a story from Kristen. What up, Kristen? Kristen said, on a youth group trip, my youth pastor let some of the older boys carpool together. So naturally, they decided to do something stupid. That is natural. Apparently, one of the guys needed to pee really badly. Uh So he found a gallon jug floating around and did his business. Next thing you know, the guys had made some sort of game out of it because they all began passing this jug around and taking turns until they filled the gallon jug with pee. A gallon? (laughs) Dudes being dudes, yeah. I'm not even going to say what type of... Nah, <laughs> hold up, but, hold up, hold up. <laughs> Let me just be quiet. But when they were finished <laughs> with their pee jug, they threw it out the window into oncoming traffic. <laughs> That's crazy. Gabe's acting like he's speaking from experience oh back there. My <laughs> bro, I can't. Just dudes being guys. I can't just, with people, bro. Just, just dudes like, being guys. I'm trying to. That's kind of. Never mind. Nope. There's a lot of weird. Nope. You would Country never catch me doing that. Country boy. Like that. <laughs> you wouldn't catch What's me doing it? that. Country boy. I love, I love you. you. <laughs> this is a story from Zach. He said, What up, Zach? At youth camp, a middle school boy was walking around holding his stomach while crying. Yep. We were asking him if he was okay when suddenly he <clears> ran to <throat> the bathroom. Oh. Come to find out, he swallowed a laxative pill that was supposed to be administered rectally. <laughs> Who, who, who hey. buys a pill like that? <laughs> I'm sure they're right next to each other. Question. It's like, do I want to swallow this one or do I want to <laughs> swallow well, this one? Well, I don't think he knew, obviously. <laughs> Apparently, he grabbed the wrong so one. So what happened? Did he die? I don't think he died. What did you say? Is that what that's called? Suppository is what it's called. But like, I feel like it's an honest mistake. My man had one I mean, before. If, I wouldn't have known. I probably wouldn't have read it either. I would just say, yeah. like, "Oh, laxative, well, hey, okay. if you're if you're taking a laxative, he's you should he's read look, it." He's looking back on the toilet. He's reading. It, he's like, and he put him on my yeah, butt. yeah. He did know, and he chickened out. <laughs> like it's probably the same he's thing, like, right? <laughs> he's like, right, I'm not sticking this on my bow." Like, no, no, no way! No way! I'm supposed to what? <laughs> That is a hundred percent how it went down. I never my, heard my of a laxative like, that you. St- would we take some? She would like mix it with pudding or something, so like you couldn't taste it. And someone said. Uh, <laughs> it's like someone said task <laughs> failed successfully. See, I never had to take a laxative my whole life. Neither have I. There's a lot of laxative stories on the show. A lot of laxative stories. <laughs> Shaw gets an award for never having to take a laxative. <laughs> hey, hey, me and hey, you, bro. Me hey, hey, we were the same we go. Go. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about it. I'm now, have from now on, our yo. Life's yeah, mission, bro, is to see who can go the longest, Shaw. No, it wasn't that. It was the uh, other stuff. Who can avoid taking one the longest in our life from now on? Me. All right? It's a game. It's me. I'm going to beat you. All right. I don't have a problem with pooping. All right. It starts okay. today, guys. Good to know. Tune into the next episode to see who lasts longer. <laughs> Thanksgiving? What? People talk about, I think it was Pastor Cole talk about on Thanksgiving they have to take moose legs. Was that him? 
I vaguely remember actually him bringing that up. Yeah, yeah. It was something. I, believe, yep. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. He has some crazy laxative stories, actually. He shared on this one. <laughs> something that his mom like gave him. Yeah, it was one of the stories from the show. Somebody was like didn't poop the whole trip or something. So, yeah, you guys were on for that one. But I yeah, think yeah. he said that his mom accidentally gave him a laxative when he was a kid. <laughs> and it freaking hurt. Because he like, had to use the bathroom, but they couldn't stop or something like that. Yeah, it was. Dang. I'm pretty sure that was his story. Like, actually, Sounds his scary, story. Man. We'll find out. We'll ask him when he's on the Classic show. Classic youth group no, yeah. pee and poop jokes, man. <laughs> they just. <laughs> youth group, and they're always there. <laughs> throwing jugs of pee. <laughs> pooping in their pants. <laughs> yeah, pooping <laughs> pooping right pants. before you get in the car. Oh, the <laughs> this is from uh, Matthew. Matthew said, We had a teen who always created havoc for our youth group. Well, one night after finishing up. This kid disappeared, except no one noticed he was missing until it was too late. Oh, Out of nowhere, good. our senior pastor got a phone call from the shopping center management across the street. <laughs> He's stealing. <laughs> He's stealing. <laughs> He's stealing. He might not be stealing a shot. He might not He's be stealing. stealing. Come to find out, this 13 or 14-year-old boy was on top of the roof of the Hungry Jacks, which is the Australian version of Burger King, and was refusing to come down. Somehow this kid had crossed a train track, a four-lane highway what? and the parking lot of the shopping center only to top it off by scaling to the top of this restaurant. For what? <laughs> what is the point? Because he can. He's He heard the story of the 23-story guy. Somebody, he's like, I can do better. I can beat it. Be I on drugs, it. bro. That, something's wrong. <laughs> I don't... Nobody's just going on top of a roof for no reason. Shaw, have, how many homeschoolers have you met? <laughs> Very, is that really Australia? Is that Not a thing? You? How many homeschoolers have you met, bro? Because... That sounds One, like a normal thing. Two. How many who? How many what? Homeschoolers. Three. Uh, you're going to throw homeschoolers under the bus for that one? Yes. No. That was not homeschooler vibes. We were not vibes. that brave. That's not homeschooler vibes. No. That is a purple team vibe. Purple team <laughs> vibes. <laughs> no, yeah. actually, you know what? There are two types of homeschoolers. The homeschoolers, my family, mm -hmm. who never did stuff like that because yep. we would have gotten in huge trouble. They are like, couldn't and watch certain VeggieTales There's episodes. no in between, but completely the other direction. The most rambunctious, yep. crazy, wild don't parents care. don't care. They started well, how making high they're climbing in the tree, at like punching each old. other. That's the other homeschool family. So it makes sense then. Yeah. I know a so kid. Maybe that kid. In high school, it, I mean, homeschooled, but in high school, he was like making his own gun. This homeschooled kid. He was like that getting parts awesome. and just like making his own. <laughs> he's, just, he's, he's like, like hey, how are these? I might go shoot somebody today. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? I'm about to go shoot somebody today. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for hunting, Shaw. Hunting. Oh, hunting. Okay. hunting. Guns are for hunting. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what they're using them for now. That's not what they're using them for. <laughs> okay, someone agrees with me. There's literally two types of homeschool families. There we go. And there is no in between. It's true. Like, there's like there's like I know them all. Gables. I know them all off the top of my head. Know. The crazy ones that we were never allowed to go to their house. Yep. And the ones that we were allowed to hang out with. <laughs> Anna Green Gables and Tarzan. It's like there's pretty, no yeah, pretty much there's no pretty much. Between. They either know how to make sourdough or they know how to how to tie a burn certain down a knot barn. That's like, gonna <laughs> burn down a barn. Yeah. <laughs> I can bake you. I can bake a cookie. You can bake a cookie. Oh, there we go. No, that's not, that would be, never mind. <laughs> 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 Next story. <laughs> Next story. <laughs> this is a story from Matthew. He said, we had a teen. Uh, nope, that was the same one. My bad. There we are, repeating stories. <laughs> it's so hurt, man. <laughs> Sam's going through it, man. Somebody pray for Sam. Yeah, this is tough for me. I can't take the, the hate and the backlash that we've been getting. Wow. All right, this is from uh, Will. For a youth group event, there was a game where various students had to chug a gallon of lemonade. One student finished it all to win the game, but proceeded to throw it up all over the stage. Oh. Worst part was the game was right before worship. Oh, so the no. leaders essentially brought a tarp out, put it over the vomit so the worship team could start. Nothing was more awkward than the pastor's transition of who's ready to worship right after all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody throw up your hands to Jesus. Now, it, come on. <laughs> All across this room, can we just throw, uh, lift our lift your hands? Sometimes I don't even know how to react. Like I, I don't <laughs> know what to say that. Just, there's no way to react to it. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. I was working at a country club one time, and it was somebody's wedding, and right is like there's like a moment, you know, when the bride and the groom they walk in, right before they do it, like there's just one hallway. This little kid pukes. He's about this tall, but he pukes a, his own weight all over oh. the floor in the wall, like seconds before the bride and the groom are coming. And so I like take two towels, plug my nose, cancel, start, the, cancel the wedding, start wiping it down. <laughs> and I'm like, it. it was, I was like one of the, that like marked, yeah, that like marked me. Yo, that's imagine, terrible I, I mean, 
Imagine worship was like hype. You're like mm-hmm. running around, slip. That's what I'm thinking on the tarp, like jumping on the tarp. <laughs> slip. It's like splashing you everywhere. Splash no, face. not the. You splash yourself. <laughs> no, because imagine it's a stage. It's like four or five feet high, uh-huh. and you're stomping on it, splashing. And it's like coming out. <laughs> it's like coming out to people in the front row. Splashing everywhere. It's like, <laughs> come on up like, to the yeah, front to the worship. Like, no. no one's Don't like. Don't be scared. Tw- everyone's twenty feet away from the Don't stage. Don't be scared. 100%. You might get wet a little bit. <laughs> Pastor's right. like, if you want to give your life to Jesus, go. Actually, let's go to the back of the room. <laughs> <laughs> don't come don't come up the one time they make an exception. That would be so Literally. nasty. That would be <laughs> <laughs> This is from Robert. He said Robert. My friend's youth pastor used to tell this story to discourage reckless behavior in church. Oh these when are he words. was much younger, in addition to being a youth leader, he was a greeter at his church. Now at the time, the youth leader would often get into playful fights with his friends while he was on duty as a greeter. The fights would range from pushing each other around to full-on punching and boxing. (laughs) One day, while he was on duty as a greeter, (laughs) the youth leader saw his friend walking into church. Apparently, in the mood for a fight, the youth leader quietly ran up behind his friend, jumped right in front of him, and punched him in the stomach. (laughs) It's just a prank. It's just a prank. (laughs) It's in the mood for the fight for me. (laughs) Much to the youth leader's horror... It actually wasn't his friend. No way, dude. But a guest visiting the church for the first time. <laughs> Welcome to church. <laughs> he didn't come we, back. We pray God encounters you today. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. No way that guy came back. Your life is going to change one way or another. Holy God. <laughs> and he fell. He fell. That's crazy. Throw your hands up, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, what, yeah. What's the conversation right after that? Like, he, he punches the guy. What do you like, say? <clears throat> hey, so we got coffee. <laughs> we got some free coffee. <laughs> nah, he punches them. He's like, oh, Yo, can, can we get your first you time visitor? Can we get card? your gift bag? <laughs> I thought you were a gym. <laughs> yeah. How do, how do you, you explain do, your way out of you that? You can't. You can't. Hey, sorry. I, I thought you were my friend. Me I meant to punch you. I would have just said that. I would have been like, my bad. I thought you were somebody else. <laughs> 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 Literally, and it's always like I just had my appendix removed or like something. Oh yeah, oh, God, and there's no way they're like breathing. You ever been punched in the stomach? You cannot breathe, dude. Like out of nowhere, no. wind knocked right out of. And you. That guy's got to go through like worship. <laughs> he's got. He's got to go through. <laughs> How are we doing this no, morning? Dude, I'd be she's like, turning around and walking out. He's like, right I just there. gotta go grab my wallet real quick. <laughs> Mid <Mid-dish. laughs> No, seriously though. I mean, we've all gone to a church for the first time. Seriously, think it through. First time you walk into that building, that would be the walk worst. through the door. Some dude runs up and punches you in the stomach. <laughs> like it's funny, but it's like actually like wow. That would be so funny. What bro. kind of church is this, man? What do y'all believe here? Because <laughs> laying on hands. <laughs> that he was laying hands for real. That's crazy. <laughs> Throwing hands. This is from Micah. Micah said, "Micah, when I was teaching my." Youth oh, small man. group. I made a point that no matter how bad we mess up, forgiveness is always available through Jesus. Hey, yes, sir. Come on, thank but you. But unfortunately, Lord. I made the mistake of asking this group of twelve-year-olds this question: oh, no. What's the worst thing you've ever done? <laughs> Usually, youth don't open up in small groups, and they give you pretty much nothing to to move forward with. Um, However, a candy bar. this time was different. The response from the youth started off small with confessions of stealing and lying to parents. Mm-hmm. However. The discussion reached its pinnacle Uh-oh. when Mun Boy, this was his first time at youth group, started sharing with the whole group about how sometimes he holds his cat's face against the window of their burning fireplace. While giggling, he explained in detail how the cat would <laughs> scream as he held it well, against the burning window, and he would watch as the fur and flesh smoldered. We know where he was. Leaving went. our entire youth group speechless. We know exactly where he is right now, right? <laughs> Well, that man is a yeah, exactly. You know what he that is. is. That's the other kind of homeschooler. <laughs> you know what he is. <laughs> that is a hundred percent the other homeschooler. That's the other one. Nah, he is serious. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I knew where we were going that to the man, comment section. Grippy sock vacation and not coming back. That's crazy. not coming Bro, back. Man, was what, what was the story right before that that okayed that kid's? He's like, yeah, I stole a candy bar. Yeah, one time I lied to my mom. <laughs> Literally, yeah, and yeah, then he one jumps time, to this. One time I stole my friend's shoes. Sometimes I stick a cat's face against a burning fire and, and laugh <laughs> as its flesh burns. You what cat is just running around with like no hair on the side of its face? Like, how do the parents not see that? 
They're like, oh, he's probably playing Bro, with the cat again. Bro, that cat. Jimmy's playing with the cat again. <laughs> Jimmy's playing with the cat again. He wants to be a barber. People come that over cute? and he'll. Do, oh yeah, he loves that cat. He, he wants to be cat. a barber. This is. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he's just cutting his hair or something. I don't know. <laughs> Cat's like got one eye. Like one eye cat. Oh. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> Add him to the prayer list, y'all. Add him to the YGC prayer list. <laughs> Someone that, needs man. to pray for him. Pray, pray for, for that pray kid. Pray for Jimmy, man. Pray for a new. <laughs> Shout out Jimmy one time. Renewing of a heart. <laughs> renewing of the heart. <laughs> Two more stories here. This is from Donovan. At youth camp, the boys' cabin decided to hang hammocks between the wooden bunks, okay, crisscrossing cool. them to make like a web-like structure. That night, oh, my 225-pound friend Ooh. decided to climb to the top hammock, <laughs> which was about eight feet high Whoa. Yeah, you and above everyone right? else's in the cabin. What he didn't know was that his hammock was secured to a weak beam. Mm -hmm. So once he was up there, the support broke off, oh, and he no. came crashing down. But because there were so many hammocks below him, he crushed about four kids... <laughs> <laughs> Knocking two of them out cold because he landed on them so hard. Uh, uh. <laughs> no way. Watch out. He's coming. No. <laughs> He's coming out. You know, you know the papers you got to fill out when like something happens? Like, what do they say? Yeah. It's well, crazy because uh, that probably happens so fast. It's just like, I'm, I'm, hold up. I'm mad. That, I'm mad that they started 225 pounds. Just that so man, you know how much this dude. kid weighs that's coming down. That's not that heavy. That's a heavy dude. It, I mean, you want him falling eight feet on you, bro? That's heavy. I feel like that's kind of a shot. Bro, I mean. that's he <laughs> bro, that's heavy from where he's falling? I mean, if they said... That's like a couch okay, okay, falling wait, wait, on wait. you, bro. Imagine I started the story like this. There was a kid who weighed a buck ten, and he was on the top bunk, and he fell. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even make it through the first hammock. <laughs> the first, yeah, that's... That Bro, makes sense. That man was so a 225 enough. pound kid is a full grown man essentially. Yeah. yeah. Oh and yeah. I guess. Yeah. By the it. momentum of eight feet. I eight bet you this couch is. How tough. much do you think this couch weighs? Not like 200 40 pounds. pounds. 40 pounds. And if that drop on you, it's gonna hurt. Let's test it. Yeah. Shaw, lay down, and we'll <laughs> we'll drop the couch. At one point in my life, I weighed 225. That's what I'm saying. And, uh, I feel like that's not. That but would I guess hurt. I would feel very bad for you anybody. You grown man. I fell on kid from eight feet up. Eight feet up. Jeez. No, actually, they said the kid that fell, not hurt at all. <laughs> he wasn't? There's a difference. Wait, he, actually, he actually wasn't hurt? The kid that fell wasn't. He's fine. But there That's were two kids unconscious under him. He's, yeah, he's got bodies under him. He just gives up. He's like, everybody all everybody right? Everybody good? They're like, and then they're all <laughs> they're out cold. Hey. Depending on the youth camp, like those kids on the bottom, they have a whole different story. Yeah, I remember I met God at youth camp, man. I was sleeping and then instantly into a dream. <laughs> Like, no, they're no. going to send in a story about how a kid <laughs> fell off fell on them. an eight foot hammock onto them. <laughs> but, them no, but cold. they're going to say they're going to say this guy was like thirteen feet up. He was five hundred pounds. It was <laughs> <laughs> that would be crazy if it was somebody on the live right now. Yeah, <laughs> imagine they're like it was me. Shout out to you, Jonathan. Man, I'm not. not I'm not doing a very good job not looking at all these comments tonight. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, he did have a lot of cushions under him. It's of course that's the one guy that doesn't get hurt. All right, one more story here. This is from Becca. Becca. Becca said, Rebecca. after youth group one night, several of our students went outside to play in the cemetery. Apparently, what? <laughs> they got bored and decided to walk around the block instead. <laughs> Bro. Several minutes go by and suddenly they heard police sirens coming toward them. So they raced back to the church. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why are you running? A few adults stepped outside to see what was going on. And they saw about five police cars parked nearby while the officers were sweeping the area with flashlights. One of our church members who lives across the street called us to tell us that the police were looking for a body that someone saw in a ditch. Huh. Come to find out, one of our youth group girls had gotten tired of walking around the block and decided it would be a good idea to lay in the ditch by the road <laughs> on her phone until her friends returned. <laughs> yeah, and it's not like in an uh, inconspicuous way. If you're a youth kid you're on the face phone down. and your in your mentality is let me just lay in a ditch, it's like you're gonna you're making yourself comfy there. At this you're point, like you're I'm, hanging out. I'm just you sick look of people. Dead. Like what did you say? I'm just at this point I'm sick of people like <laughs> It's Why, kid, bro? bro? Like, <laughs> go somewhere. <laughs> yeah, well, that there's a lot of revealing things in there. They're walking around the cemetery. Why are you laying in a They're like, ditch? just for fun. Yeah, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go walk around it. You know, I don't want to walk peaceful. around a cemetery. I'm well, good. <laughs> never, hey. never have I ever decided to go walk around a cemetery. No, fun. literally, I jogged in the cemetery. Spe okay, it's after youth group. Probably dark. Mm -hmm. Double no for me. I'm and good. then, the, and then the the sirens come on and they start running. It's like, what? 
<laughs> no, you're running. Hold up. <laughs> That's a spooky. No, literally. Yeah. Yeah. It's spooky, bro. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Youth Group Chronicles. I know everyone that listens to the show on a weekly basis doesn't seem like we haven't been here for a while, but we actually haven't recorded content since uh, October. Since early last October. Year. This, is, this episode <laughs> came out. Yes. Yeah. This episode's coming out early January. So it's been well over, probably close to three months since we've been in the studio. Wow. So thank you all on Instagram Live for joining us. Come on, come and on. Um, if you're listening to the podcast and you want to hop on a live next time, Instagram just released this new feature <gasps> that we can like schedule live. So you can go to our Instagram and look and see uh, when we're going live next. Bye. And then hop on and join us. Kind of get a it. behind the scenes look. Check out our YouTube. And that's growing. We are almost to 10,000 subscribers there. I'm super pumped. Jeez. On YouTube? So, uh, yeah, on YouTube. Fire. It's, it's growing slowly. We're getting there. We're getting there. 10, new episodes coming out every week. So go mm. check those out, guys. Full video episodes of Youth Group Chronicles. Until next week, Pastor Tim and uh, Shaw. Thanks so much, guys. Hey. Thanks for having me. Thank